Now that's unfair, I think the applause is canned. Um, so, welcome. Uh, this is, I guess, the growth seminar. Uh, I'm Nate Smith. I am the Chief Technical Officer for American Reading Company. And I wanted to share a couple things with you today. This is our first Ed Innovation Summit, so we are very excited to talk to you about our digital platform. Uh, first off, so American Reading Company. We've been around since 1998. We're not primarily a technology company. We offer professional development. We bring common core state standards libraries into the schools, leveled texts that we go right into the classroom with so kids have access to lots and lots of books. Uh, we provide curricular support and we also provide technology to tie all of those things together. Uh, essentially, we do our work using some basic models. Schools can choose which model makes sense for them. Maybe they're just getting started with the Common Core State Standards. Maybe they're trying to do inquiry-based learning. Maybe they're trying to improve student growth in reading. Or maybe they're trying to do a full transformation model. And we support each of these uh, with the models that we provide. Now, between each of the models that we provide, the common thread is our independent uh, reading level assessment, the ERLA. And the ERLA is a common core state standards based leveling system for books so that we hand level uh, over 90,000 titles to figure out the uh, appropriate reading level for students and it's also a tool that teachers can use to find each student's reading level and, and figure out where they are on the continuum of the common core state standards as they work through their grade levels. So another key component to what we provide is books. We supply a river of books into the classroom so that students can get an ample amount of reading practice. We think reading practice is key to student success. So we provide these programs to the schools, but how do we use data to tie all of it together? And that's where I come in. That's part of my job at the company is to develop our digital platform for literacy. And essentially, it has three components. First, we have the electronic ERLA. This is the digital version of our formative assessment tool. This is a conferencing tool that teachers can use to track student progress across the Common Core state standards. It's a formative assessment. It's done in the classroom. It's done with students, right beside the student at their desk. Teachers use this to collaborate record student progress, and to learn about the standards. Teachers can see uh, what types of evidence they should be collecting, what types of prompts they should give to students. It's a way for teachers to learn the standards and to record student progress across the Common Core State Standards. And so here, if we take a look at it, we tie individual skills that a student should acquire across our color leveling system, and we tie those skills to individual Common Core State Standards. Teachers can record evidence. They can score students. We have a grade level equivalency based scoring mechanism. And the, the system handles all this for them. And this data goes with the student from classroom to classroom, from year to year, school to school. We have embedded assessments inside this formative assessment. So if part of the evidence collection is the capture of sight words, the teacher can simply capture which sight words the students acquired right in the tool and keep progress of that session after session so we can watch student growth in each of these granular embedded assessments. And finally, it allows for teachers to collaborate with each other. Teachers can record evidence in the form of notes and other types of evidence, and they can do this. Multiple teachers can work with the same student using the same eERLA document. And that document, again, travels with the student. Multiple teachers can interact with it. So that's the formative assessment that pushes data into our performance management system, SchoolPACE. So SchoolPACE is your typical information system. It has dashboards, reporting, data walls, student history, all the things that uh, give administrators the data they need to drive instruction. Uh, and the dashboards are key to this. So it tells administrators things like how many students are reading on grade level, how many students are getting enough reading practice. And this data is real time. That eERLA formative assessment, that's done in the literacy block. That's done by teachers sitting at a student's desk. And that data is reported back to a dashboard that the administrators 
school and district administrators have access to immediately so they can make decisions right now today rather than waiting for the result of a periodic assessment. So here are some examples of our dashboards. Web-based works just fine on mobile devices, phones, things like that. Um, and it gives a lot of information at the district administrator's fingertips. So we have school grade classroom breakdowns of information and for each of those we can look at student growth, we can look at student performance against set performance targets, we can look at average scores, and we can look at the age of the data, the freshness of the data, which is another key point of our performance management system. It's also an adult accountability system. So we know how often educators in the classroom are keeping the data up to date. If you're supposed to be conferencing with students every week, we know if that's happening, and we know the effect of those assessments. And finally, administrators are busy. We push this data out to them into their email, into their inbox, on their uh, portable phone, or whatever device they choose, and it gives them a tool. We, we push out things like student milestones. Who passed a milestone today? So the, before the morning announcements are over, administrators can use that data to recognize students, to make changes to the instructional day, et cetera. It's just a great real-time tool every day. Data walls, a visual way to look at student growth. We can group students into tiers based on reading level, based on other indicators, and um, we can look at that growth across time. Uh, we can drill down and see individual students in that data wall. We can drill down to the individual student and look at his growth across years, across schools. And so we can see how his uh, school performance has been year over year. And this is easy, the data entry takes minutes. Uh, we were doing this in, in hundreds of schools and it really hasn't been a roadblock. Uh, you know, teachers seem to accept this and it's, it's been great to get the data into the system. And finally, our, our last key component to all of this is digital books. Uh, it's 2013 and people are starting to ask, how can I get my content in a digital format? And we've created Bookshelf to do just that. Uh, at a very basic level, Bookshelf integrates with our performance management system so that we already have your student uh, accounts ready and created. We know which classrooms they're in. makes it very easy to push titles out to individual students. And our system is based on that Common Core State Standards leveling system so that students can organize the titles in their e-reader based on reading level so they can find the books that fit right inside the e-reader. And we have that for the web. We have it for mobile devices. On the mobile devices, the data can be cached so that you can use it without an internet connection. And so this is a way that we can get data into homes where there may not be connectivity. And finally, some usage statistics. Uh, right now, we have this model, this digital platform in 371 schools, 97 districts, 104,000 students with data, and 37,000 of those students Having that formative assessment data, we know which Common Core State standards they've mastered. And we've had steady growth from 2011 when the platform was released at 326,000 to fiscal year 2013 with uh, year-to-date sales of over 700,000. And as we've added features, we've added uh, sales with them. And so that's it. That's American Reading Company's digital platform for literacy. Thank you.